If you're looking to get some Gucci deals on Black Friday, I think Walmart got you guys. Because I'm looking at the catalog for Switch games for uh, Black Friday 2018 and it's actually looking pretty solid. Let's go over all the games they're going to be selling at a slightly lower price than its original counterpart when it was released. Let's check it out. Starting at $35, you can get Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. I still don't have this game and I probably won't get enough money by then to pick up all these games on sale, but I might be able to pick up a couple, but if not, probably won't be able to. And we also got Kirby Star Allies. That is a great game. I've always been wanting to get that game. Me and my girlfriend really want it, like extremely bad. So hopefully, if I get enough money by then, I'll be able to cop two copies and, you know, maybe we can have a, a great time with that. But if you're looking for a good platformer, two good platformers, uh, I think Kirby Star Allies is great for the Switch, especially couch co-op. It's very, you know, couch co-op uh, friendly and it looks pretty dank. And we also got Tropical Freeze. I've heard it's one of the best Donkey Kong games ever made. So if you're looking to buy that one, there's your chance. We also got ARMS, which is uh, $35. I'm not too sure how good ARMS is gonna sell during Black Friday because I don't know how big the player base is even online, but I don't know if people even like started to buy these games after, you know, the game did incredibly good. But if you're still interested in ARMS, $35 at Walmart. Another $35 game here at Walmart during their Black, uh, Black Friday sale, it's going to be Pokemon Tournament DX. If you're really into Pokemon and you're really excited for the new Pokemon Let's Go games releasing later this November, and you also want, you know, just to get, just to fill in right there while you wait for it to release. Uh, then Pokemon Tournament's there for you. You got Lego DC Villains, I think is what I see from here. It's relatively a new game, so basically half off. Uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 2, uh, if you guys are into RPGs, that's another one for you. I personally don't like tactical RPGs, or Xenoblade Chronicles never actually interested me that much. And we also got something for the sports people. A while back, I bought 2K18 for the Switch, and it was a pretty solid port. I liked it a lot. It actually got me to play a sports game, which is weird, because a lot of my friends and a lot of my family members wanted a 2K game. So if you're on the Switch and you want that same vibe, uh, people wanting to play the same 2K game with you, especially the new one, uh, it's going to be over half off here at Walmart during the Black Friday se uh, deal. Now heading over to the $25 games, which I'm kind of pissed off at. Because I got f***ing robbed. And what do I mean by that? I mean, not literally less than a month ago, I bought Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy for its full retail price. And it's gonna be $25. If I would've waited till, uh, just a little while till Black Friday, if I would've known, uh, this game was gonna be $25. So, yeah. Uh, they're gonna be the Carnival games for the Switch. Uh, I think you'd just rather buy something else. Rocket League is going to be $25, that's a good one. A uh, Mario Rabbit Kingdom Battle, that's a really good one. Never personally tried the game, never wanted to pick it up, but it, I've known, I know that a lot of people actually enjoyed the hell out of this game. And $25 doesn't seem too bad, uh, Just Dance. Um, if you want the true Gucci, the, the great of them all, report or version of Just Dance 2019, Get it on the Wii. Yeah, they're still making these games on the damn Wii. You hear that, dude? You're not fucking dead. Another thing I'm mad about, I personally been playing this game for the longest time right now, and I bought it over a month ago uh, for the full retail price of $59.99, and if I just waited a little bit longer, I would have been able to get Dragon Ball Fighters on the Switch for $25. If I would have waited, I probably wouldn't have the Gucci cooler combos that I got now. after training in Dragon Ball. So I guess there's a plus. Basically just paid $60 for a longer training tool. Big Buck Arcade? Oh wow, I didn't even know that was released on the Switch. But the true gem out of all these damn games that are coming out and you cannot miss, literally fuck Mario Kart. You don't need that. You don't need Hello Kitty's Racers, bro. Because even by that standard, it's pretty terrible. But if you want the Gucci game, at the $25 price line, you got the Nickelodeon Kart Racers. Yeah, dude, you wanna race with SpongeBob? They got you, man. Now we're getting into the $17 games. Uh, I'm gonna go over the Nintendo 3DS games, cause why not? We got uh, Mario 3D Land, still haven't played that one. Uh, Zelda Ocarina of Time, 
uh, Donkey Kong Country Returns, Animal Crossing, which is a good one, and I think the last Zelda game that was released on the 3DS is also at $17. They're normally all $20 since they're the you know Nintendo uh, the Nintendo Select thingy, and uh, they're just literally like $3 off, so you're not really saving a lot. Okay, on to the Switch games. We are gonna get Namco Arcade Pack, which is something I personally like because I love Namco Museum games and Namco Museum you know, ports on every single console because I just love Namco games. Rolling Thunder is just great to have. So I might pick that one up. Uh, they got Lego Worlds for $17. And surprisingly, they have South Park the Fractured Asshole. Uh, I didn't expect this game to be that cheap so quick. It's still full price at the moment, I think. But it's not a bad game for $17. I think it's... I think that's a good deal. Now we can look at what type of consoles we're gonna be receiving on Black Friday. Apparently we end up getting a Nintendo Switch Mario Kart Deluxe 8 bundle here at uh, Black Friday. Starting at $299, you're basically saving $60 uh, for buying a Switch and not having to buy Mario Kart. It's a packing game, which is cool. It's not gonna be physically, I think. It's gonna be a digital code because they have a habit of doing that. But yeah, you're gonna be saving $60 there. So if you want to switch and uh, you don't you don't have the money to buy a game, I think this bundle is great, especially since you get two controllers out of the out of the box and you can play with your friends. And they also have uh, Super Mario Maker 2DS bundle starting at 79 bucks. So if you have a kid that loves Mario, I mean 79 bucks can't go wrong. So yeah, that's gonna be all the Black Friday lineup for Nintendo Switch games. Are you guys gonna be picking up any Nintendo Switch games here on Black Friday at Walmart or you know the other offerings at other places like Best Buy and Target? Because they've seemed fairly similar. I think Target, no, it was I think Best Buy is giving out Bayonetta for like Bayonetta 2 for $35, which is pretty good. Let me know down in the comments what you guys are going to be picking up. If you're going to Black Friday, what are you going to be picking up? I don't think I'm going to be picking up anything. I, I'm not too sure because I usually don't even shop in Black Fridays. I usually don't give a crap when things like this happen. But Nintendo Switch games on sale uh, seems pretty good, especially, you know, all the, you know, Kirby and South Park and all these other great games. Uh, if you, if, if I had to recommend something, I think I would go for Crash, uh, Rocket League, uh, Dragon Ball Fighters is a good one, uh, South Park, uh, Kirby, and Donkey Kong. The others are just, they're alright. That's what I was gonna do for today's video. Do not forget that I'm doing a $10 eShop card giveaway, so the link to that video is gonna be in the description below. So you can go onto that video, follow the rules, and you can be entered right away. That's gonna do it for today's video, guys, and I'll catch y'all later.